and I started getting here. One way ticket and you're talking to me about healing through belief. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole. And you spent your whole life trying to widen that keyhole, to see more, to know more. And now, on hearing that it can be widened in ways you can't imagine, you reject the possibility. No, I reject it because I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. There is no such thing as spirit. That was a clip from Doctor Strange, the latest movie released this weekend by Marvel Studios. It is a fantasy film about a successful doctor who obtains supernatural powers. <clears throat> Joining us right now with his take in the Fox Light host, Michael Tamaro. Michael, good to see good you. Good morning, my Maria. That looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> it uh, does, so right? Many movies based on comic books these yes. days. Yes. Well, this one's a little bit different. The, the source material is not that well known, okay. uh, which has that going for it. Um, and it's right, currently it's outpacing Ant Man and Thor at the same very period. It looks to pull in about $70 million this weekend for the top spot. It has a lot going for it. Fandango did a survey of the ticket buyers so far, and 97% are Marvel fans, which is great. 85% are interested in a darker superhero movie, and 82% are Cumberbatch fans. So mm. it's sort of drawing a, a large group of people into it. And you, and you did a survey online, which I I took on Twitter, yes, uh, and I put my answer in there when, when I saw that you uh, were asking all your Twitter followers what who's film gonna take the top who's going to take the top spot this weekend. And, and one of the films is obviously Hacksaw Ridge, yes. which tells a story, a true story, true of story. a soldier, Desmond Doss, the first conscious objector to win the Medal of Honor. Yes, it, it, Mel Gibson directed. Mm. Mel is back after 10 years. He's sober and clean with a new uh, daughter on the way. The, people are saying this is, and I saw the movie, it is incredibly powerful. Some of the best work of his career. So this wow. is a movie you should really look for. It's going to do okay at the box office for the uh, probably num number three spot uh, after Trolls. But this is a movie to really look for as award season approaches. So you think it makes its money back? Yes. Yeah, okay. Long this home. weekend, there's also, if war dramas are not your thing, you can also take the kids to yeah. see Trolls. Uh, you talk to the stars already. I did. Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick sat down and gave us a sneak peek. Flap it, boss. Nope. The new animated musical comedy Trolls features the voices of Justin Timberlake, Anna Kendrick, Zoe Deschanel, and Christopher Mintz Plass in a story about two trolls who are trying to save their village. What's your plan? Honestly, I feel super proud of this movie. Um, and how the music uh, weaves its way in and out of the comedy and the, and, and the heart of the film. These trolls are family friendly. They love to sing and give lots of hugs, something Anna is trying to warm up to. I always try to duck and dodge on a hug. I'm, oh, I'm always like, hi, like, hey, oh, so good to see you. Oh, no, no, oh, no, the elevator's here. It was so great yeah, to yeah, see yeah, you, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. She did that to me a couple of times. I but then I saw her do it to someone else, and I didn't feel so <laughs> <laughs> And I see your true colors. Justin is the executive producer of the music and sings on some of the songs. Zoe is also featured on the song. It's got a lot of old songs from the 70s and 80s and then um, that have been updated, done in a more modern way. And then um, there's a lot of like pop music too. Under the lights when everything goes. Even though Anna sings on the soundtrack, she's not ready to share the stage with Justin. I played a show in London when uh, at the sort of the end of our um, press tour and I was joking with her that I was going to bring her up to sing True Colors and I think I saw true fright. Uh, For just like, a moment, you she saw, actually he witnessed a decade life. being drained out of my life. <laughs> So, I will die ten years so, earlier. So because I, I because I enjoy I being like, Anna's friend, I think I probably based on that reaction, even if just being a joke, I would not do that to her. Now I'm thinking we hug. Make sure you catch trolls at a theater near you. That looks good. How cute does them, that look? Actually, hearing them sing was I, I love it. So good. And after this selection, who can't use another hug? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a group hug. Let's do it. <laughs> Michael Tamara, everybody. All right, we're going to the movies this weekend for sure. Let's get